Hello, hello everybody. Fox here gonna bring you another one versus one. The map is going to be on Langroves once again, and we have a Vermont player up here in the northern position playing is Welsh's Orange, and down here in the southern position we have our British player. Uh his name is Passion. These seem to be Smurf accounts because of the game replays. Um player that uploaded it had a different name and I've never seen these players before but they had quite a few wubs or as you can call them the equivalent as Facebook likes and whatnot. I'm gonna get this game started here just because not much happens during the beginning of the game um, we'll probably see uh, looks like we will not be seeing pile spam for once coming from our Vermont oh I lied he's getting a third pile we'll see if he decides to get a Vermont quarters early into the game. I'm going to do a quick overview of the map just because I'd like to do that early in the game and we do have new players once in a while and yes we do have the Vermont quarters going up. It's going to be here on the edge of the map so if he does uh, get pushed back into his base he could possibly take fire from the British player but really uh, that doesn't happen too often so we'll see how that works out later into the game. Um, as I was saying the map here works out for a Vermont player if a British player can get this point this will cut off the Vermont player from a good portion of the map over here and uh, that's definitely a no-no and we'll see if the British player can pull that off or if he will even bother to focus, focus on this point. Sometimes they don't. Um, for our British player really it's going to be kind of different just because usually their HQ can stay here. As you can see it is already gone heading up to the northern position and he's going to take this plus 16 munitions, plop his HQ there, and then the Vermont player will not be able to decap this. But, uh, however, that does him, allow him a little bit more vulnerable from fire or being pushed back into his base. As you can see here, this bunker here, these two bunkers here that would originally protect your base, as well as the Vermont player's base here, you can see. Um... Uh, the Vermont player can always take an MG in one of these buildings and really pin back you, pin you back into your HQ, and you're kind of screwed, or you'll take a lot of damage. You're not necessarily screwed, but some players do lose to that. But these players, they are pretty high up there, and I'm pretty sure none of them will lose to that. But we'll have to wait and see. Uh, we're gonna see have a bite come out here. It's gonna be very, very annoying for our British player, just because they slowly pick away. It won't kill uh, a squad. But it slowly picks away at their health, so when that Volkswagen Deer Squad does come out, or in this case an MG, it will, uh, they have a better chance of taking them out and forcing them to retreat. And here comes the MG, this, the bike is going to spot for that as the bike does provide extra vision, and now they are pinned, but he did get the munitions point, so he is good to go. He's, I mean, he's pretty happy about that so far. So right now we have three Pioneer squads out, about, out and about capping, giving them the capping power and the MG that will provide him that extra cover and the bike that will go ahead and scout for a British player. We do have the standard here, two infantry sections, uh, as well as the officer. Officer needs to be very, very careful staying out here as this bike can easily pick off the officer. Officer can't do anything. If he does retreat into his HQ, the bike can just chase it down, kill it off, and, well, the officer does have these buildings that he can retreat to if he decides to. Now we're going to have another engagement. You may see an engagement by a Pioneer Squad and this infantry section once they do capture it. Um, but this Pioneer Squad should be able to cap that before they run into any trouble. Looks like we do have an engagement once again in the north. Looks like a Vermont player. Uh, I can kind of see what he's trying to do. He might get a third MG actually. Cover this left side, cover the middle, and maybe cover the right or go for Volkswagen Deer Squad sooner or later. You can see, I think he's trying to reserve that building for later on. And uh, we do have the Bren out. Now the Bren is going to be very quick, very fast. You need to be careful because this can't, once he gets behind the MG, MG is pretty much useless and uh, will take out the MG or will force it to reposition. This Pioneer Squad needs to get out of here. Uh, uh, trying to build some mines, but they do take extra damage while they do any sort of building. He did not know the Bren was there. And here we go, another fight here in the southern position. Bike uh, once again. Uh, MG is going to move up, and that should seal the deal for him as we don't see any support from the British player. He's just kind of baiting him in. The British player doesn't realize it, and they have no officers, so they are going to slowly walk into the MG fire, and they will have to retreat. Nice, quick retreat there. Not going to lose any units, minimizing damage up back here in the north. We do have the Bren. And oh, we have a, a recon squad flanking the MG and then a Bren coming in from the other side of one MG of Justice. So British player easily wins right there, getting a very nice flank in that general area. So, so far on the attack map, 
Uh, looks rather even uh, right now down the middle. However, the British player is starting to get into the Furmox territory. He may ca uh, decap that very, very soon. However, the British player uh, hasn't managed to get entire foothold here. As it, there is still an MG, he didn't bring that MG back. Oh no, kills a bike up here in north. That is huge as uh, that will take away a lot of scouting power. Or right, he does have actually a second bike. I did not realize that, but you still don't want to lose any units. And now the brand though is kind of in trouble. Does have seems to survive, uh, have a little bit more survivability, but it needs to get out of there right now as it does only have half health and an MG. You can see he's trying to pick it off, trying to get an MG in position. The Bren is not moving. The bike is trying to block it. I can see what he's trying to do now, but the Bren does manage to get away with one fourth of its health left. But is it totally gone? There's another MG trying to trap it. It's just going to face the southern position. Oh, I wish he would have saved face the southern position because then he would have had it. And now the Brent is going to take off, but this bike is chasing it down. It's like an epic chase right now. Uh, there is a Pioneer squad coming up here in the north to try and intercept that Brent. However, there is a recon squad coming over here to intercept the bike. To counter it does use the uh, repair ability on that brand does cost quite a few munitions. Now the bike is in trouble. However, this MG oops could hop into that uh, building. He would be good, but no, the recon squad counters it by hopping into the building himself. Now he's going to come to the other building instead. The pioneer squad is going to be here with him to provide that extra uh, support. Actually, going to pop him out of there. And how that was a pretty interesting. The bike just barely getting away with a little bit of health as well as the brand now is fully repaired. So both players there. Nice uh, mind games and micro by both of them. It looks pretty even right now. The fight uh, it looks pretty even here in the middle. The VPs are 5 and 434. Uh, it's pretty normal so far. No huge advantage as now uh, the VPs are neutral. However, this is a flamethrower upgrade. Brand needs a backup right now or it'll take massive amounts of damage. And he does manage to get out of there. The only puff of flame came out of that building and no damage. But his recon squad needs to get out of here now or else they will rot. Uh, they will die very, very quick. He is trying to get that bike damage engine the brand over here onto the right hand side needs to get it out he doesn't pay attention though he does not see it and he may lose a recon squad this continues to go however the pioneer squad taking massive amount of damage as well it is only down to two health guys he is going to recruit that retreat that pioneer squad hasn't retreated they've only exited them i don't know why he didn't retreat him down to one more guy or excuse me there's still two more guys that are very very low on health and it will get away gonna go back here for the north a little bit of microwaving battle uh and there's still an mg here that may be able to fire onto that brand uh the bike firing right into the rear of the brand the brand although is oh may die here may run into the bunker no he's just gonna circle around uh be get stuck on a tree stump once again i think i did that earlier and the bike is gonna get even more annoying try to block it there's a pioneer squad trying to intercept it Please be careful that the Pioneer Squad uh, that can be taken out by that Brand as it's very low on health or this bike. And oh, the Brand takes it out, and now the Pioneer Squad is in trouble. Needs to book it out of here. They are in negative cover, and then the Brand has survived. Very nice Brand micro there, and a really nice micro by both players. Unfortunately, he kind of miscalculated that as the uh, bike was not able to take on that Bren. Kind of hard to tell, and looks like both players are repairing uh, each other's damages. The British player, though, has a little bit of da advantage so far, as you can say. Tell he does have a second truck up, and it just planted itself now. Sturm Armory, though, coming out for our player, and his first uh, vehicle is going to be a looks like a Stug, and it looks like the Stug is gonna take care of this brand unless this brand has some sick micro from passion our British player we'll see how that goes but he's got the uh, he has had some close calls though already with just the bike and pioneer squad so I don't know we'll see how that goes he needs to get out of there as that bunker does quite a bit of damage to that brand especially when something's gonna come out of this building though and so he did get that scouting information he knows what to expect he needs to get some sappers up or lay lay some sort of anti vehicle ability I'm not sure what he's gonna go for he may think it's a puma coming out may try to counter with a cupcake but that is not the case he is bringing out a stug so uh, we'll see what he plans to do here. The Vermont player did go the Blitz, Blitzcrag Doctor in. He's going to probably save it for Infantry Assault Team. As you can tell, it is up. To, he, he's saving up his manpower. It is at 3.30 right now. Um, VPs are favoring the British player, and the Stug is now out, and the Pioneer Squad right behind it going to support it. Let's see if he pops one out. 3.80 manpower, and yes, he does pop out a Stormtrooper Squad, which can get uh, ooh, getting double Shreks on that sucker. And looks like we don't have anything out from our British player yet. He may go heavy infantry. That would be kind of unfortunate for our Stormtrooper uh, squad here. Getting double shreks. That would be kind of useless. So looks like we have our Stug. Now he reveals the Stug. The British player knows about it. Uh, this this will be able to delay it. 
for quite a while. As you can see, there is an infantry section moving here in the north. May try to take decap that. Maybe, maybe not. There's not much that they can do. May try to flank this MG is what they're trying to do. However, he does not know about the stormtrooper squad. Oh, uh, now he does. And is he still going to go for it as there's another MG over here trying to reposition itself? But can it reposition itself in time? It looks like it can, especially with that stug hammering that uh, infantry section. So it does wisely retreat there, minimizing damages. Once again, a quick retreat by a British player. This squad's still here, going to try and delay. Uh, the, keep our Vermont player here as long as possible while he uh, recuperates and builds up his army and continues to decap. You can see he has gone very, very far in the Vermont territory, even though he has been kind of losing these battles. I wouldn't say completely losing these battles. He's actually just lost the first skirmish here, and now he's going to pull it. And uh, very nice play by our British player, really, by both players. I haven't seen any two big blunders yet. I haven't seen any squads completely lost just besides those two bikes by Vermont player. And uh, um, right now, Vermont player is going to start moving out. The Stug uh, moving in. Not does the Vermont player, or excuse me, British player, have anything to counter it? Yes, he does. He does have a sapper, so he needs to be very, very careful as they do quite a bit of damage here. And yeah, he's going to book it out of there. However, the stormtrooper squad. Um, that could cause a little bit of trouble later on as they can find like one of these buildings stray by themselves like this one over here sticks the stormtrooper squad around takes this vehicle out or force a retreat by a British player when he really doesn't want to oh no the brand is here and being quite a bit of trouble uh, looks like this was laid by our um, Vermont player and it's kinda not favoring him as the brand could have came over here try to take out the pioneer squad and the stormtrooper squad will take out the brand but now uh, he doesn't want to reveal it. There is a getting deep cap in the middle. The Stug, though, trying to take on that um, Sapper squad as well as the infantry section. Going to try to focus on the infantry section as the Sappers haven't moved on to it yet. And uh, there he goes. Now going to move on to it. The MGs, though, uh, staying here in the back. Actually has two Stugs out now. BPs are 461, 434. Still very, very even. Does manage to get the cap on that middle point and retreats. He's happy to go. However, is there anything to really defend at the moment? No, not really. Oh, oh, the Stormtrooper squad sneaked around the hedgerow and the Bren has not moved yet. Very, very nice patience by our Vermont player. And it looks like it will pay off. He does have double Shreks. I'll be damned if they don't kill it. Um, be a bad, bad Vermont player. And here comes the kill. Bam, one shot, plus 16 XP, instant kill, and bodies flying everywhere. And he's probably happy to get rid of that. Now we're going to get some veterancy on his tank. So we're going to see a lot of armor coming from our... Uh, Vermont player and uh, we'll see what our British player is going to counter that it looks like he's just going to go pure sapper so going to be heavy infantry versus a lot of vehicles we'll see how that works out plus by the support of these stormtrooper squads it does kind of make these shreks kind of useless though unless his plan is to take out uh, his HQ by surprise like bum rush them or something or later on he may just switch over the MP44s for his uh, uh, Stormtrooper squad, as you can tell, his manpower is being saved up at the moment. It is at 420. Uh, vehicles look like they are under attack, not really under attack. This infantry section really needs to get out of here. Two stugs, three guys. Looks like though there's a push up here in the north. He's going to be kept at that point I was talking about earlier, and that will cut off the Vermont player from pretty much all his resources besides the plus five fuel and plus ten munitions. And once again, infantry section though, trying to take it, and they do take it. Will he retreat in time though? And yes, he does retreat. And oh, gets one more shot. Will he be able to pick it off? Usually it doesn't happen. And doesn't look like it. Gonna switch to the north. I saw a bit of fighting, but I'm not sure what's going on right now. Gonna go back to the attack map. Stormtrooper squad. Gonna try to sneak over here on the left hand side. Make sure to take out this fuel. No, no, he's gonna do exactly what I was saying. Uh, he is gonna try to get this, this, uh, truck, um, what do you call it? Field support truck. However, there are quite a bit of squads in the vicinity. One's actually full, pretty much two are about to be in full health. One's working its way up there as well as there's a few officers and whatnot. But this stormtrooper squad can cause uh, these squads to fall back all the way to the side of the map. And that will allow these pioneer squads to start capping freely. Oh, and he's moving out now actually. And this may allow that he's probably wait, Vermont player may be waiting for the next engagement. And then once that engagement happens, hit this vehicle and if he does retreat then that means he's free to cap as well so it's kind of a win-win situation for a Vermont player unless he can British player can split his forces just about right to win both fights 
And uh, here we go. It's going to be the first engagement up here in the north. A lone recon squad is going to move up here. Uh, try to prevent this pioneer squad from decapping. However, it will not will not happen. He needs to retreat it now, though. And yes, he does retreat it. Down here in the south position, we have a big movement from our bridge fire. Oh, man, almost uh, focus firing that officer. Fo officer really takes like one more shot, and he's pretty much a dead man. You can see he's trying to move it back in the back of that fight. does bring the captain along, and with the captain only helps in his own territory. So he will need his fuel point or just move it over here, and he will get that extra bonus. And now both thugs pummeling, trying to focus fire those, trying to focus fire those sappers, however there is an MG over here, so they just need to scoot back to the safety of that MG, and they will be good to go, needs to be careful that Stug took quite a few hits there, the sappers are pretty healthy right now, and we do have the, uh, actually, did he blow up the building, oh, I don't know if I missed it, and I think he, I think he did, yes, he did manage to blow up the building, there is a Chroma over here, trying to take it on, I'm not sure, why? I mean, I I guess if you can sort of micro into the squad, they won't be able to shoot, and that it did work out for him. So uh, the speed ability, you can see, costs about probably 35 munitions. And we do have a sniper out on the field. I already have two kills on... He may have taken out an officer. I'm not entirely sure. There's an officer right here, so I don't think he did. It was very, very long health, and he probably will, hopefully, repair. I'm not so sure if the British player... Blah, blah, blah. British player's point of view for the moment, and uh, see, look at his resources right now. It looks like he's been spending them pretty well. He is going to heal that officer. Very, very nice uh, play. Very wise, really. And uh, the British player, pretty much all his forces are kind of being reinforced as well as a Cromwell. So he's got a decent sized force right now. Going to actually get a Firefly. So uh, he wasn't going to stick the Sappers, and he is going to switch to t vehicle heavy vehicles on... Uh, Heavy vehicles and with a good amount of infantry mix up in here. Man, you got MGs, snipers, pioneers, and stormtroopers. So it looks like these strikes will pay off. So if you don't know about this game too much, um, the Cromwell itself as a British player. I hear a bunch of fighting. Well, I'm not sure where it's at. It looks like up here in the north, really. Just trying to prevent him from decapping. And the sniper actually is going to come over here uh, and try to counter that. It needs to be careful. This is a recon squad and. He could counter snipe if he really wanted to. Doesn't look like he will though, as the sniper does pop in the camo pretty quick, especially with the veteran see there. And it looks like we have the move from our British player as the firefly. As I was saying earlier, the firefly uh, cannot take that much damage, but it does insane amounts of damage, and it has very, very good range. So what the British player needs to do is scoot this tank back, scout with. I mean, while it's stay in the back of the fight and start picking away at the stug, and look how much damage it does. This, the Firefly has insane amounts of range, but oh no, a flank wire Stormtrooper squad hits a mine for that bonus and may get one more shot off though, and no it doesn't. It instantly takes out the Firefly, and now the entire British army is pretty much screwed. I would say entirely screwed. Yeah, they're screwed. These tanks are screwed here, and the infantry, why the infantry is too busy dealing with that stug up front? Oh no, the British player answers though, and he decides to counter with artillery, uh, and the battle flips instantly into our British player. British players favor and now he can decap this point